Hey everybody and welcome back to Crafting Me Easy. If you're interested to see how I did this all over etching glass, stand by. So the items you'll need for this project include a wine glass. You can definitely get these from the Dollar Tree. Armor etch. Something to put your armor etch in. Something to paint your armor etch on. Gloves. A weeding tool. Vinyl. And transfer tape. All right. I think that is it. If I'm missing anything, I will definitely put it down there in the description box. All right, now that we have that out of the way, let's get started. Alrighty, so the first thing you're gonna do is weed your vinyl. So with this um, all over etching glass, you're going to leave the part, it will just be like a normal weed. So normally you'll just weed, reverse weed it and remove the um, part that you usually keep. Um, but for this one, because I don't, I want the glass to show through this part. I'm going to actually put the whole piece onto the um, glass. Now, if you do want like stencil pieces, you can weed it the reverse way and use stencil pieces on your glass. But if you don't want it that way, then you just leave it the regular, you will weed it out the regular way. I hope that made sense to everyone, especially to those new that don't usually etch or st stencil or anything like that. Um, so if you're using whole pieces, you'll just weed it regular. If you're not, you're going to do a reverse weeding, which means removing this piece and just leaving the uh, outline of the picture. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly and I'll be back. Okay, so I went ahead and weeded out those ones. I'm going to use whole pieces. I'm not using all of those on one cup. For this one, I'm actually going to do the reverse weed because I want the honey, it's a honey, honeycomb. You probably can't really see that, but I want the honeycomb to be um, with the holes. I don't want the whole piece. So I'm just going to weed that out really quickly. And this is what I mean by reverse weed. So typically you would just remove the outline and leave the black pieces on here, but I'm removing the black pieces and leaving the outline. you do so I'll just um, trimmed out the um, outline from here because I like I said I wanted to re reuse it on the bottom of my glass so I had to very carefully remove it all right and that's just gonna have to go up there all right and when you're applying your vinyl just make sure you lay it nice and flat the same way if you're doing it by a stencil or if you're using the whole piece because you don't want your armor etch to ooze underneath of your um, picture because it will leave a mark that you don't want it to leave. So even though you're doing it all over, if you want it to 
be clear in the middle, you wanna make sure you lay down your vinyl. So I'm just gonna place this vinyl pieces uh, wherever I want and you can do it however you want to do your glass. I got this idea from someone off Facebook. She actually did a Mickey Mouse all over glass. So I thought um, I would do a Pooh Bear one because I love Pooh Bear. So, and I'm just making sure it's laid down. You can do bigger pieces if you want to, but then you will have to um, make sure you cut your transfer tape so it can fit your um, picture. So like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and lay this around my glass and then I shall be back. looking at it like do I want to put some more on here but I don't want to overcrowd the cup so I just want to make sure all of my vinyl is laid down so it won't lift up when I'm applying my um, it, mm, armor etch I was about to say etch a sketch <laughs> like it, you want to make sure all of it's laid down all right so once you make sure everything is laid down and placed exactly where you want it to be you can go ahead and get your armor etch. So I do have some already out in a cup. Maybe, maybe yes, right here in the cup. So I'm gonna put my gloves on and I'm going to set a timer for about five minutes. And some people just leave their armor etch on the glass. Um, and go about their daily business. I tried that and I didn't like the outcome. It came with like a lot of streaks and stuff. So I didn't really like the outcome of just leaving it on there. So I'm gonna do it the regular method that I usually do. And that's just kind of for the five minutes that I'm gonna put on my timer. I'm going to move it or move the um, armor etch around, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I will be back. Once you, um, really quickly, once you put your armor etch on there, you wanna rinse it off with some cold water. So that's what I do, I rinse it off with cold water and then dry it off. it several times around the glass as you saw in the clip and I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off with cold water and then I shall be back all right so um, make sure whatever tool you use to apply the armor etch on you rinse that off really really well and then set that to the side and I usually rinse it out as I'm cleaning the glass so while the water is running out dab um, each stencil around it just to make sure I get not only the tool clean but around the stencil so there's no armor etch um, still lingering around um, because you don't want to handle it with your bare hands because you can leave like a chemical reaction on your skin so I'm just going to dry this off and this came out way better than when I just let it sit on the glass and I'll show you a comparison in a second. So next, all you're gonna do, I'm just gonna use alcohol. Um, never mind. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna clean it with alcohol because my tile left some lint on there, but I'll do that after I remove the stencil. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lift the stencil.
Okay, so I got everything off and I'm gonna go ahead and spray my glass with some alcohol. And I'm just gonna get something non linty <laughs> and clean it. And clean the inside too. This is still wet. Oh, yay. I like this way better than the first glass I did. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Really, really cute. Yeah, I wish I would have put like some more little butterflies down there. But other than that, I really, really like the cup. So this is what it looks like if you move your um, armor etch around. It looks cloudy, like etching. So you have a frosted glass with like little peekaboos coming through. But this is what my glass looked like when I just let it sit on there. It's like streak. Some of the um, glass didn't get covered. It doesn't, I don't really like that. So I don't like when I just leave it on there um, and just, you know, go about my business and then come back to it and then remove the um, vinyl or remove the etch and then the vinyl. I don't like it when I just let it sit. It has like streaks in there and everything like that. And then, like I said, some of the glass didn't even get covered. But when I move the armor etch around, it looks really, really cool. So I really like that. All right, so that's about it, y'all. It's a really fast project to do. It didn't take me that long. Um, the only thing that really took long was cutting out the vinyl, but other than that, <laughs> and picking which vinyl I wanted to use. But other than that, it didn't really take long. So you can do this project in under 30 minutes. Um, and you can do it with your family and you can add something to your business. If you're already selling glasses or anything like that, you can add like etch peekaboo glasses to your, um, your inventory. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell to so be notified when I drop new videos. And if you are not in my Facebook group, we just reached 200 members. Woohoo! Thank you for everyone who has clicked join. Um, you can join that group on Facebook and it's called Crafty Made Easy. Same as my YouTube name. And I, oh, and also if you have any crafting friends that may be interested in the all over etching glass, go ahead and hit the share button and send it to them so they can go ahead and join the gang. All right, y'all. I think that is all. And until the next video, y'all stay blessed. And until next time, peace.